have something cool to show you guys today. Literally cool. It is the <laughs> Dippin' Dots Frozen Dot Maker. At the airport, there was a Dippin' Dots machine and we got some Dippin' Dots. And then, now we're making Dippin' Dots by yourself. So today we're gonna try and make our own using this thing. The Dippin' Dots Frozen Dot Maker. It says magically make frozen dots at home. There's three flavor dispensers. It's totally easy to use. And this girl looks pretty happy. And this guy's having fun too. He looks like a mad scientist. Wait. You also get some coupons inside valued at up to $20. You fill it, freeze it, and then eat it. It says ages six and up. So that means Jillian can do this by herself. Yay! But that's not happening today. No! <laughs> use pop pens for pattern making. It says use Dippin' Dots Frozen Dot Mix or your favorite drink. Flavor pack sold separately. This thing doesn't actually come with the flavor pack. So you have to buy these. It comes in a pack like this or you can get a deluxe big pack like this. And this one makes 45 servings. Whoa. And this is what it looks like when it's all done. So this pack actually comes with six different flavors. We have vanilla, cotton candy, Ooh. strawberry, Ooh. banana split, Ooh. cookies and cream, Ooh. and chocolate. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, we don't have ooh flavor here. <laughs> Zero grams of fat. So it's not like regular ice cream. There's no sodium. Two grams of carbohydrate, which come from the sugar, and zero grams of protein. Sorry, no protein. So this is almost like eating water. So let's open this up and check it out. So inside the box, we have another box. Whoa. And another little box. Whoa. Wait, there's another box in there. Oh my gosh. Ow. Okay, so what are those things? They just go in here and they fill it up. So Mama Toot's gonna wash these out because it's always a good idea to wash these plastic parts when you first get it. So here are the instructions. You get this big piece of paper that folds out. So we have one Dippin' Dots Maker Base. There it is right here. You guys wanna see? We get three dispensers. We got a green one, a blue one, and an orange. orange. So here we have the dispensers that we will be putting into the base. We also have two pop pens. Two pop pens. We have a pink one and a yellow one. It comes with, it looks like a cap for the bottom and the tip. There's also two pop pattern templates. So these are the templates that you use to make these designs, these cool designs. There's, you can make a star, a little circle design. Star. And a heart. We have a pack of spoons here. It has four of them, but it doesn't look like this four, it only looks like one, doesn't it? There is one, two, three, four spoons. Four, enough. just enough for our family. So if you have a bigger family than ours, I don't know, one person's not gonna get to eat, I guess. No, oh, I guess they can use their fingers. <laughs> There's also four little cup bowl thingies. And these are pretty small little cups here. You can use these or you can probably just use a bowl lying around your house. There's also like a little dispenser part. That is the dispenser bowl. So that goes underneath and I guess uh, dispenses the liquid into the little trays. Let's open these up, see what they look like inside. Whoa! They just come in these little packs. This one is cookies and cream. I'm taking that one. So since this one has three dispensers, we're gonna pick three flavors. Okay. Let's do cookies and cream since yeah. that's what we tried at the okay. airport. Okay, candy and strawberry. Okay, so we have our measuring cup here and now we need to pour in eight ounces of milk. Three And There we go. And what flavor are we doing? Cookies and cream. So we were supposed to pour the powder in here and then pour the milk in and then shake it up. So next time we'll read the instructions. Now we have it inside the little dispenser. Okay, cap it up. So we've attached the cover and put it in closed position. And Evan's gonna shake it up now. Oh, it's oh. 
it is leaking a little bit. The girl here is not putting her finger on the tip. Go ahead and load it into the base. You just lock it into place like that. Time to shake it. Shake it up, shake it up. Whoa, look at that. That is some serious shaking, even with some foot action. Let's stick it on here with the blue one. Okay. So we have our trays, and now we have to lock them together. There's a uh, little holes in the top and a big hole in the middle. Next, we need our dispenser bowl here. We have to release the little blue thing right there to let it go. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. Hey. Look at that. Do you see? So look, it's slowly filling up. That's cool. And it looks like our bowl here is almost empty. Now it's kind of oozing out of the top, the overflow. It looks like it's all gone from our bowl. Here's the filled tray. And we'll put that aside for a second until we load up the cotton candy. Cotton. Is it in there really tight? We rotate. Thing if you want change. So we're changing flavor, so we, all we have to do is turn it to rotate it. This thing is on. This thing needs to be closed in closed position. And go ahead, release the liquid. Look at the blue ooze is coming out. You can go a little bit over just to make sure. Stop. All right, stop. Go ahead, push it. Push it? Yeah. This one's oozing out a little bit. Oh. Kind of miss the edges because some of it is on top. <laughs> And that's okay. We're gonna put the strawberry on now. How's it taste? Good. And it goes. It looks like it's going fast. I think there's a little too much. <laughs> okay, we're re removing the tray. Take the bowl off. So we're gonna put them in the freezer. With all our pizzas. Mm, well, can I have the pizza for dinner? So there are the first three. Okay, so now we're gonna try to use the pop pens to make a design. So what we have to do is take one of the pop pens, make sure the cap is on the tip, and then we need to fill it up with our flavor. We're using cotton candy. Here it goes, we're filling up our pop pen. Oh no, oh no, this came off at the bottom. Oh boy. Oh, oh god. Oh, look at oh, that. Mommy, too. No. Uh, oh. Ah. <laughs> I'm gonna try the yellow one this time. Oh, oh. no. Oh, no. All right, that was a disaster. Okay, so we're filling up the little pen. Okay, then you put the little bubble cap on. Oh. This one is strawberry. You have to separate the tray, and you're only gonna be putting dots in the bottom half. So this one? Yep, and then you take your pattern and you put it underneath. To copy it? And then you can see it. You have to make sure that the black dots are lined up with the actual bubble. So this is a little tricky. You have to put drops in one at a time. It's like an eyedropper. Yeah, I think I like the dispenser a little better than the pen. It's a nice idea, but it's a little messy, a little tricky to get the design. You don't get quite enough liquid in the circle. So then you take the top and... Put it on? Put it on. And it's soft. And don't shake it, otherwise it's gonna move. Now we're gonna go stick that in the freezer too. Okay, and when you're done with the pens, there are two little places you can put them right, right in the here. back. Right here. And that's probably where they're gonna stay because they're a little too messy to work with. So we waited three hours, now we're gonna check it out. Whoa, this is cool. Let's see if it was worth the mess. Whoa, look at that. I'm gonna try to open up this one then. Just will be the chocolate. Yeah. 
That must oh, there's, be there's one candy. of the design ones that you did. Cotton candy, right? Oh. There's a star one. What happened to it? <laughs> no, I think Evan put it sideways. So all the stuff like ah. ran down to the side. Ooh, ooh. ooh. All right, that one looks sort of normal. We only got one thing of cookies and cream before the whole thing splashed all over the place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we do have another pack. These cups are a little small, so if you start pushing these balls out of the tray, some are gonna end up on the table. Oh, it's like a waffle. Okay, so it comes out in one big chunk, or a couple big chunks, and you have to break it up with a spoon. Time for the taste test. Evan's gonna try the cookies and cream one. Actually, that's pretty good. Okay, yeah, it's good. How did, how's it compared to the real thing? Um, it's not exactly really like it, but it's still good. It's like ice, sort of. Like chocolate, uh, like cookies and cream flavored ice. Okay, let me see this. Not bad. I'm just gonna try one dot. You try to get one dot? Bit. You're a one dot girl? Uh, she doesn't like it. Let's let her try the cotton candy. Cotton candy. Let's see what the face says. Uh oh. Okay, Evan's gonna try the cotton candy. Thumbs up. Eureka! That one's pretty sweet. Yeah, that one's really sweet. You're right. So we're gonna have to try these other flavors in here. A fun little activity for your family to do. Although I think the kids prefer real Dippin' Dots. Okay guys, so that was the Dippin' Dots maker. We'll see you guys next time. Bye!